Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is hard assert in TestNG? Or what are hard assertions in TestNG? Let me answer. In TestNG, we have two types of assertions. One is hard assertion and the other one is soft assertion. If you understand the difference between this hard assertion and soft assertion, you can understand what exactly is hard assertion in a better way and you will know why the name hard is given in this assertion. Okay. So let me explain the difference between the hard and soft assertion now. Here, this side, that is left side, I'll write hard assertion, hard assert otherwise. And on the right side, I'll write soft assert or soft assertion, whatever you feel. Okay. So what is the difference? In case of hard assertion, when an assertion occurs, okay, an assertion specified with hard assertion occurs, the test will fail, right? Test will fail and execution will stop, okay? Test execution will stop there itself where the exception has occurred or assertion has occurred and execution will stop there itself, okay? That's why it is called as hard, okay? Whenever an exception occurs, it will stop that. It will terminate the test. Remaining code that is there in the test will not run, okay? Whatever the code that is after, that is coming after this hard assertion has occurred, okay, which has failed the test. The remaining code which is coming after that assertion line, hard assertion line, which got failed, will not be executed, will not run actually, okay? In, in case of soft assert, it's kind of different, okay? This will also fail the test. This will, test will fail. Here also, the test will ultimately fail. In case of soft assertion also, test will fail. But the difference here is, execution will continue. No matter the assertion fails or passes, doesn't matter, guys. Execution of the remaining code of the test will continue. It will not stop, okay? So for example, if I take you to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have the sample code written in one of the test method here, here you see there is a soft assertion mentioned. This is how we specify the soft assertion in test engine. You have to create an object for the soft assert and using this object reference, I have to call this assert uh, method, okay? Assert equals, okay? There are different type of assertions. Assert equals is one of them. So the same method can be used in the uh, hard assertions also. But if I use soft assert dot assert equals, in that case, for example, if this particular assertion fails, it will not stop the execution of the test there itself, okay? Even though at this particular line assertion has occurred, it will fail the test, but the remaining code, okay, which is coming after this failure of this uh, assertion error will still run, okay? It will not stop the execution of the test. But if in case of this, instead of soft assertion, for example, in case of this soft assertion, instead of soft assertion, if, if it is uh, mentioned as hard assertion like this, assert dot like this, okay? If it is specified like this, in this case, what will happen? In this case, if this particular thing fails, the test will stop there itself, okay? If this particular assertion fails, then the test will be failed and test execution will stop there itself. These lines will not be executed. That's what is the difference between the hard assertion and soft assertion. So which one is good? Soft assertion is good or soft uh, hard assertion is good? Both are good guys, okay? In some situations, we have to use soft assertion. For example, in this case, it's you see, there's a minimal test, right? Just verifying the title of the page. For that, you don't have to use hard assertion, okay? Because in this particular test method, there are multiple assertions. Even though this particular minimal kind of verification kind of assertion fails, it should continue the execution of the test, okay? The requirement is there in this particular test to still continue the execution of the code in the which is available in the test after the assertion fails also. So this is not a good idea to write hard assertion here. In place of this, we have to write soft assertion. How to write soft assertion? Soft assert, you have to first create an object for soft assert class. Soft assert, uh, soft assert is equal to new soft assert, okay? Now, instead of hard assertion here, use object reference and call this method. Now this has become a soft assertion. So this is the best place to write the soft assertion, okay? In some situations, soft assertions are required for main verification, okay? What this test method is all about to see whether the product has been properly searched and we got the product displayed, valid product displayed in such results. So that verification is done here. Here only title is being checked, okay? But here actual verification is done to decide whether this test need to, you know, pass or fail. So if this particular thing fails, how can you check this hard assertion, uh, this uh, particular main assertion, right? That's the reason we have to convert this hard assertion into soft assertion because it's a minimal verification, okay? Which should not stop the execution of the code. And here the actual verification is done. For actual verifications, we generally use hard assertions. For normal verifications, we use soft assertions. So, hope guys, you understood uh, 
what exactly is hard assertion and where we have to use hard assertions and how the hard assertions are different from soft assertions and how both soft assertions and hard assertions are required in real time. Okay. Both are important. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.